ankle mobility. So grab your foam roller into a couch. So we're doing our strength session, guys, this week. Uh, this is our last week, so we're going to do all three sets if we can get through it. Uh, fingers crossed we can get through it in time. All right, so foam roller. We've got our ankle mobility to begin with. So we're starting 10 centimetres, getting our big toe about 10 centimetres away from our roller or couch or wall, whatever you're using. And we're just bringing our knee in to touch, bringing that knee in to touch that foam roller there. So we're stretching out that Achilles tendon here and the lower part of our calf. Two or three on each side should be enough. We'll move through this pretty quickly. Make sure you're doing, make sure you're doing the mobility. Really important that we do mobility. If you've already done it, that's great. You can move on to your um, band work, if you've already done mobility, we're going to do our, our Spider-Man squat. So again, we're, we're hinging at the hip, bending, bending at the hip, hands under our toes. Hands under our toes here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some pressure with my elbows on the outs, uh, inside of my knees. So I'm pushing out. And then I'm going to keep my left hand under my left foot and just twist and rotate up to my right. Again, remember to control our breathing here. Come back, right hand goes back under my right toes. And I'm going to twist, keeping that right elbow, really important, keep that right elbow pushed into that right hand side there with that right knee. And I'm twisting and controlling my breathing here. Good job, two big breaths there. All right, so we've done our mobility. We'll grab our mini band. Make sure we've got our mini bands. We're gonna chuck that around our ankles. Chuck that around our ankles. Just gonna extend my screen here a little bit and see everyone. Awesome to see so many numbers again tonight. Sorry about the late start, guys. Okay, mini band. So we've got five to our right and five to our left. So we're starting here. We're gonna do we're gonna do this twice through. So again, we're down a nice low stance, like a defensive stance. You can have your arms wide and not get that upper body activation in it. We're stepping big and bigger, big, bigger. So we're switching on the muscles of our glutes here. Big powerful muscles of our lower body and our core. Five steps to our right, five back to our left. You can have a quick break. Down again, five to our right, five to our left. Making sure when we're doing this, guys, so I'm, I'm watching most of you tonight. I've got, the, uh, I've got the computer plugged into my TV. Making sure we're not coming up and down. So this movement is not up and down just yet. Okay, we're trying to just stay active the whole time, staying locked in this defensive stance position and just moving side to side here, okay? We will get to the squats later on. Okay, so we've got two sets of this, so we need to go across the room, depending on how much space we've got, five, five, do that twice through, have a break. Now we're into our second set. Down, and then back into our second set. So activating our glutes, getting our lower body, Getting our lower body nice and warm here. Good, good, big, big wide steps. You should be starting to feel that burn a little bit in your glutes. Good work, okay. Keep the band on. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Keep the band on, we're going into our, into our squats now. Into our squats now. Remembering if you haven't got your screen on, I can't, uh, can't see, I can't give you feedback, but that's okay. Um, just follow along as we're going through it. So we've got three sets of 10 here. 
with our, our box squats. If you've got a, a couch or you've got a bench or something you want to do um, that squat down to and sort of touch your bum on, that's okay. Don't make it too low though. The idea behind the box squat um, is that we're actually taking away that momentum. So that's the reason that's programmed in there. And we're working on that explosiveness from that bottom position out. I don't have a box or anything here, so I'm just gonna work through it now. So we've got uh, three sets of 10. I'll do the first set of 10 with you guys. And then I'm gonna watch the second and third set. Okay, so again, we've got a band above our knees now. Okay, we wanna be adding resistance to that hip abduction now and not, not at the ankles. I'm sitting down, hold for a count at the bottom and explode out of that bottom position. So again, if you want to add some extra uh, resistance to this, add it through time. So what that means is counting down, three, two, one, holding at the bottom for one, two, explode up, okay? That's a good way to progress it. Uh, if we've got any of our older athletes in tonight's session, I can't see any. Unless Darcy's doing the session, Darcy Strauss. Welcome, mate. If Darcy, if you're doing the session, you've got a, uh, how are you, mate? Good, Marcy, how are you? Good, good. Are you following along or are you just checking in to see who's doing it? I was just checking in on the 12 threes. I've got a date with some deadlifts. Ah, uh, good. Mate, you can get involved if you like, don't be afraid. <laughs> All right, so you can add some resistance to older athletes if you've got a kettlebell. Uh, or if you've got dumbbells or you've got some, it doesn't have to be, you can add a drink bottle. It doesn't have to be a lot. <clears throat> okay, so we should be done with our first set now. Again, if you want to add that extra time under tension, we're coming down using hands as a counterbalance. If you don't have that weight, and explode it out. I'm going to come and watch you guys as we get into our second and third sets here. Make sure you have a rest in between. That only needs to be 20 or 30 seconds. Make sure we're sitting right back into our hips. That's good, Matt. Good, Matt. Try and keep that weight a little closer to your body. Matty P, that's it. Hold it right at your chest here. So arms out nice and wide. And, and sort of, yeah, cuff it here at the chest. Don't hold it too far in front. If you want to go with it, if you want to push it out to help you get a little bit lower, that will help you with depth. It will help you get a little bit lower. Just make sure you don't go so low that you can't explode out of that bottom position. Everyone else is looking good, going well. Got Kate and Kobe together tonight. Good job. You boys are coming forward a little bit onto your toes. I don't know if you're doing that on purpose or not, Kate and Kobe. Just be careful. We're not, we're not, we're not quite doing knees over toes stuff just yet. Okay. We're focusing a little bit more on sitting our bum back on that imaginary chair. We're working a little bit more of a hip hinge movement here than we are um, knee hinge, if that makes sense. So the knees over the toe stuff is, is beneficial in some ways, but we're just going to focus on the hip work uh, tonight. Piper, Jonty, and Cody. Who's Piper? You got a sister, or is that the is that the pup? <laughs> okay, guys. So we should be into our third set now. Should be into our third set. Zach, just make sure your knees are tracking in line with your toes, mate. So right now you're going a real sort of a, it's not a bad thing necessarily, but just a real sumo squat, but just make sure you're understanding why you're doing that, okay? Generally, we want our knees to track for a basic sort of a box squat. Uh, we want our knees to track pretty well in line with our toes. Okay, so if your toes are out wide like that, and you've got a real sort of duck foot, that's okay. Your knees can go out wide. But if your toes are pointing straight forward, your toes need to go, uh, your knees need to go straight over your toes, in line with your toes, and sit your hips back a little bit more. Good stuff, guys. All right, keep the band on, have a drink. Again, like I said, we're going to move through this pretty quickly. I know we lost a little bit of time at the start. I apologize. My HDMI wasn't working. So now we're going into our glute bridge. All right, so we've got our glute bridges. We're going to do three sets of 12 this week. Okay, three sets of 12. This is an overload week. Okay, so again, we're having a break next week. There's no session next week. So we're overloading a little bit, challenging ourselves. 
upping the volume of our workout. So again, we're down on the ground here for our glute bridges. Good. Jump down onto your back. You've got knees bent, feet flat on the ground. And again, you should be at a point where you can twist. Okay, twist with your back on the ground. You can keep your shoulders, you can bring your shoulders off the ground. But if you twist, you should be able to touch the back of your heel or the back of your foot. Okay, that's how you know your feet are about the right distance apart. Okay, so I'm going to go through 12 of these and I'm going to come and watch you guys for the second and third set. So we're pushing through our heels, we're pushing our hips straight up from a, from a neutral spine. So a neutral spine means our lower back should be gently pressing against the, uh, the ground below us, okay? We don't, want to, we don't want to have an arched back like that. We're going to be moving through a neutral spine, which is just gently pressing our lower back into the car that was before. From that position, we maintain that neutral spine and push our hips up to the roof. Slowly back down is one. Up, slowly back down is two. Controlling your breathing, you can breathe out through this movement. So, breathing out. Breathing in on the way down, three. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more here. If you've already done your first set, have a 30 second break. 11, back down, controlling, still keeping our knees apart, so using that band to keep that uh, glute knee uh, activated and pushing up, holding for my last one, slowly back down is 12. Oh, we've got two more sets of those. Keep working through those. So two more sets, if you've had a breather, I'm gonna come and watch now. So I've got two monitors going here, so let's go for our second set now. Again, keeping those knees apart, that's really important to keep that glute knee switched on. Squeezing your glutes, getting your hips all the way to parallel with your knees. Good. So you should be making a straight line from your shoulders all the way, all the way up to your knees. That's good. You guys will know the feeling when you get to full lockout and squeeze your glutes right from the top of that hip thrust, you'll feel, you'll feel the full lockout. Again, making sure we're keeping our feet free. You can probably get your feet a little closer to your butt, mate. Bring your heels in a little bit. That's it. There you go, because I don't reckon you would have been able to twist and touch your uh, heels there, because you've got the longest arms in history. Good job, guys. Have a breather, and we're into our second and third set. Remember, you guys can ask questions throughout if you like. Use the chat, chuck your microphone on, ask questions. Entirely up to you. So we've got three sets of these. We only have 30 seconds rest, so we should be in well and truly into our second set now. <clears throat> Some of you might be finishing. Yep, Chase, Zach. Some of our younger lads, just remember it's not a race either, boys. So it's good that you're done, but make sure you have a break in between. Really important to still have a break in between. Otherwise, because we're not doing we're not doing one set of 36, we're doing three sets of 12. There is a, a really important distinction there. All right, good job, guys. Let's get through that third set. Good, 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 Cam. Good job, Sarah. John T. and Cody, who's Piper? I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued now. Who's Piper? Is it a sister? Oh, it's a sister. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Excellent. Are you joining in, or is it just a you just had the name there from school or something? Now she's joining in, that's, 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 I love that. That's awesome. Good stuff, Piper, good to have you here. Okay, guys, so it looks like a few of you are done now, so we'll get moving. We're into our push-ups. Um, sorry, that's my dog barking. So we're into our push-ups now. So again, quickly, uh, I'll quickly rehash over the three types of push-ups. We've got all fours, 
okay, where our hips are directly over our knees, okay, and we're just bringing our, our chest down, all right, we've got our, our, our knees still on the carpet or floor, but our hips are locked, okay, so our knees are, are now out behind our hips, okay, and we're lifting a little bit more of our body weight, and then we're on our toes, okay, so that is the hardest version we're going to do today. So, we have four sets of as many as we can possibly do, okay? Four sets. This is going to be a bit of a burn, okay? This is going to be a bit of an upper body burn, there's no doubt about it. So, let's just push ourselves. I'll, I'll trust you guys to do these at your own pace. All I will say again is make sure you have 20 or 30 seconds rest, okay? So, let's try and get, um, let's try and get around 15, okay? 12 to 15. Okay, if, you, if you're doing any more than that at this stage, even on your toes, um, your form is probably not really good. So let's not make it necessarily a competition of who can get the most tonight. Let's see who can do the best quality push-ups. Okay, so again, with our elbows, we don't want elbows out wide like that. Okay, if everyone can see me, we want elbows sort of tucked under a little bit more. They don't have to, they don't have to be tucked right in, but think of it like a jump shot, okay? Your elbow can be out a little bit, flare out just a little bit, but it don't, we, can't, we don't want to have our jump shot like this. Okay, we can't have that elbow all the way out, chicken wing like that. It's pretty similar to the push-up. Okay, we can have it at about a 45 degree angle at worst, but we want to have them both there. Here we go for our four sets. I'm going to do the first set with you. I'm going to try and get 15 today. 15 really strict good ones. So I'm keeping my core locked the whole time. I'm keeping my glutes locked in. I'm not sagging through the hips. I'm not sticking my bum up in the air. I'm maintaining a really nice prone hold plank position. And I'm coming down for 15 rock solid ones. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Nose is touching the ground each time. Or keeping my head and my spine nice and straight. I'm looking straight down at the ground. Five. Six, nice slow movement down. Seven, and explosive on the way up, as with everything. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm starting to fatigue because I'm trying to do this really strictly. Five more. One, two. Now, of course, starting to fatigue. We're getting on about a minute here. Three, four. Oh, okay, that's my first set done. Oh, here we go. So we've got, we're going to do four sets. Hopefully you guys have had a rest now. We'll get into our second, third and fourth set. I'm going to keep an eye on you guys. Shake it out if you need to. Shake it out. Your arms will get a little bit tired. Shoulders, chest. That's okay. We're getting stronger. That's good. A little bit of fatigue. A little bit of muscle soreness is not bad. As long as we're doing things properly and we're not putting ourselves in a position to hurt ourselves, which we're not here tonight. Again, just really want you to focus on that elbow position, okay? Can't stress that enough. I'm still seeing a few of you doing push-ups like this. Got to keep our elbows like a jump shot. Keep them tucked in a little bit. Here we go. Get those elbows in, Zach Taylor. Get those elbows heading backwards. That's it. So hand position will make a big difference. So if my hands are like that, and my fingers are pointing straight up, okay, or straight towards the wall in front of me, it's gonna be really hard for me to flare my elbows out, isn't it? I'd have to rotate my wrists like that, which is unnatural, it's gonna hurt, okay? So if your fingers are pointing at each other, that's gonna be an issue, okay? Point your fingers in the same way your head's pointing, okay? Here we go. Should be on to our second or third set now. A lot of you don't rush through this. Chase and Zach, take your time. Good job, shake it out, Reed. Good work, mate. Good work, you'll be beating up dad in no time, Reed. Well done, mate. <laughs> He's there, I knew he was there. <laughs> mate, wouldn't kill you to get down there and do some, huh? You here he goes, yes. <laughs> oh, get your butt down. <laughs> Good job, Reed. Make him work, mate. Good stuff. For those who couldn't see, Matt's uh, 89 from Zach. Well done, Zach. That's all four sets. Well done. That's better than last week. Good boy. Just make sure that form's good. 
hey, we don't, it's not, a, it's not a competition, remember? If we get 15, I'm pretty happy with that. Chase, good to see you doing them that way, mate. Just keep your elbows in a little bit. Even if you're doing them that way, that's good. All right, guys, good job, keep working. If you're done, have a drink, give me a thumbs up on the chat. There's no rush though. Good job. Good job, Archie, well done. Excellent, mate. Archie, that's perfect. Again, like I said, form and technique is everything with this stuff. Okay, one thing we can really work on in lockdown is our form and our technique. Those are things that we don't need uh, necessarily need competition or teammates to work on. And the same goes for strength and conditioning, okay? So it's the same with your ball handling, it's the same with your shot form. Um, those things you can get out and keep working on and really hone in on those right now. So it's the same when we're doing our push-ups, we're doing our squats, this is a really good opportunity um, to, to teach you guys the, the perfect form. Okay, we're gonna move through now. Just keeping an eye on time, I know I was uh, late getting to the party, but we're gonna get through our split squats now. Okay, we're gonna move through this pretty quickly. So split squats, so we're up off the ground. Good job, Chase. That's good, mate, well done. So jumping up off the ground, we're into our split squat. We've got three sets of 10 on each leg, okay? So with this one, we can go a little bit more knees over toes, if you like. Okay, I'll start from the ground up here for me. That's the best position for me to get started, is down in a nice lunge position, okay? Uh, but if you want to bring your heel back a little bit so that you are getting a little bit of knees over toe movement, I'm okay with that as well, because that's a good uh, sort of a sprint stance to get into. Okay, so we're doing 10 on each leg. Nice background there. Taylor, I like it. We're getting into a, uh, oh sorry, it's not Taylor, who's it? Oh, Fletch. <laughs> good job, here we go. Okay, so we're into a split stance and we're into our uh, lunge. So split squat, we've got 10 on each leg. Here we go, one, two. Locking that front knee out is really important. Three, four, we're strengthening those muscles to support our knee. Five, again, if you've got resistance, if you've got a weight or something, you want to hold it, hold it at the front here like a goblet. Six, we're on that back toe. So we don't have our foot flat. Seven, eight, Nine, good, and 10. Onto our left, onto our left now, or swapping legs, I did my right just then, I'm onto my left now, so again, I'm starting from the ground up. One, two, got that back toe flex. Three, just like a sprint takeoff. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good job, quick breather. We've got two more sets. Quick breather, quick drink, two more sets. We'll do our planks and we'll do our calf raises and then we'll finish off. Here we go for our second set. So again, starting from the ground up. If you want your knee a little bit forward to your toe, I don't want to be uh, too pedantic about that. Just making sure we've got that back toe flex. There was a couple of you last week that were doing that with your foot flat. Okay, that puts our ankle in a really dangerous position, pushing off our foot like that. So still making sure we're moving up and down, even if you've got a little bit of knee past your toe. I don't want to see this movement too much when I'm going forward and back like that. We're going up and down, okay? All right, good job. Hands off your knees. Good job. Well done, Sarah. Good work. Good job, Matt. Perfect. Explode up, mate. So it's slow on the way down, explode up. Make sure you lock that front knee out. Get to a position where you can lock that front knee. That's better. Good job, guys. Keep working. Good job, Cam. Sarah, just try and keep your body upright there. You might need to bring your feet a little closer together and just play with your stance a bit. Don't, I don't want to see you too far like this. Yeah, we don't want to be crouching over when we're doing that lunge. We want to be find our back pretty straight here. Good. That's good, Reed. I don't mind that. You're moving across a little bit. You've got a little bit of knee over toe. 
chase. That's probably a little bit too much knee over toe, mate. I don't know if you're stretching or doing lunges. So again, our feet should be in line with each other. So what I mean by that is if they're my feet there, they should be like that. Back foot shouldn't be pointing out like that. Feet should be in line with each other. Imagine your feet are on train tracks. So if I'm in my lunge here, I don't have my hip, my back hip open like that. I've got my toes pointing in the same direction. If you're done with your split squats, get ready for a plank. Good job, Zach. Get ready for our plank. We're gonna do three sets of 90 seconds. If you're still doing your lunges, take your time, no rush. Here we go. Good job, guys, those that are done. Well done. Good job, okay, all right. Looks like we're all done, waiting, ready to go. So we're down into our plank position. Flat on our bellies, ready to go. Four sets of 90 seconds. Again, we're on our elbows here. Keep our elbows directly underneath our shoulders. Okay, a lot of you last week, you were stretched out like this. So see how my elbows are in front of my shoulders? That's putting a lot of strain on my shoulders. You're gonna fatigue a lot quicker through the upper body. Bring your upper body so your head should be directly over, knee, uh, over your hands, basically. Okay, you don't want to have your hands out in front. You want to bring it so your hands are directly underneath your face. Okay, here we go. First, first set, everyone down in position. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jump into your plank, clock started. Off we go. Again, in this position, it's really important we learn to control our breathing. Okay, and remember you're only competing against yourself. So you guys can you guys can listen out for my cues. If you get to 30 seconds and you're doing it like this with your knees up off the ground, and you need a break for 30 seconds, take a break. That's fine. Then try and get 35 seconds next time. Okay? We're only competing against ourselves here, so keep working hard. That's 30 down. 30 seconds, well and truly down. You're doing well, guys. Keep your hips up. Don't let your hips sag, otherwise you'll start to feel it through your lower back. That's 45, so we're halfway there. There you go, Cam. You always face under the camera. I can't tell if you're actually doing a plank or if you're just watching this. Good job, mate. That's a minute, and we've got 30 seconds to go. I need to start to slip. I need a yoga mat. Good job. 20 seconds to go, so we're at a minute 10. If you're taking a break, come back down, challenge yourself to do the last 15. Here we go. This is tough stuff, guys. A minute and a half plank. You guys are able to get through three sets of this. It's impressive. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Great work. Have a rest, 30 seconds rest, and we're going again. 30 seconds rest and we're going again. All right, we're running a bit over time here, so if anyone's got to go, that's okay. We've got two more sets of plank, and then we've got our, uh, our calf raises to finish off. If not, you're with me. Stick around, finish off the session. Okay, second set of planks. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm gonna turn the screen down so I can see you guys. Bring my, bring my laptop with me, so because I watch you guys on the laptop, the you know, iPad films me, so here we go. All right, three, two, one, here we go. We do our second set. Lock in your hips. See, this is good now, I can really see my form as well. Let's go. Cody, Jonty, what are you doing? Quick, middle and a half. Good job, Matty Paul Blaze. Good job, Reed. Good job, Cam. Get your butt down, Zach. Good job, Sarah. Awesome. Hold that position, hold strong. We're nearly at 30. Good job. Good job, Kate and Kobe. That's 30. If you need a breather, come down, have a breather. Don't, don't, uh, don't drop your form. Keep your form up. Good job, Matt Hall Blaze. Solid, rock solid. Good job, Reed. If you need a break, have a break, come back in. That's 45. So come down for a break. Whew. Zach, get your butt down. Woo. Tough stuff. Keep going, Matty. Oh, dear. 
Yeah, there's a minute, 30 seconds. Control your breathing. Good job, guys. Twenty seconds. Oh, that golden retriever is doing a doing a good plank as well. <laughs> Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Come down. Good job, guys. Well done. Awesome. Really impressive. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to do our calf raises because we're running way over time. So. I know a few of you hogging the TV, Reed especially. I know Dad probably wants to watch Home and Away. So make sure we get finished pretty quickly here. So we're planks now, uh, sorry, we're, we're calf raises. Two sets of 25 to finish off. Two sets of 25. So I'm going to do both legs, okay? You can do single leg if you like. Okay, we're coming up onto the ball of our feet, right up onto our toes. You can use a wall, couch. Whatever you need as a, as a uh, stabilizer, or do it freehand and work on your proprioception and your balance. Here we go for two sets of 25. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Do an easy your own pace. Five, six. Try and go slowly down as well. Seven has with all our movements, that slow downward phase or the eccentric phase is really good for us. Eight, explosive up. Nine, 10, good job Zach. 11, 12, 14, bit of fatigue building in now, so this is good. 15, this is what we want. We want this fatigue through our calf muscles, by having to maintain the proper form of getting up onto our tippy toes. 17, if you've done 25, have a breather, have a drink, do your second set. If you've got a weight and you want to hold it, great. 25 to go, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Second set, here we go. Second set and a real quick brush through our, uh, our recovery tonight. Great job, Sarah. Single leg, awesome. Good use of that stool as well. Even as you start to fatigue, that's perfect because that's at a perfect height there for you. Even as you start to fatigue, you can support your weight on the way up a little bit. Push up on that. That's fine. As long as you're still getting full range of motion, if you're starting to support your body weight a little bit by pushing on, even if you're sort of pulling on the wall a little bit or if you've got a high bench that you're using, that's great. If you're able to do these single leg now, that's elite. 25 on a single leg is really tough. Here we go. Keep working through these. Give me a thumbs up once you've done uh, two sets. No rush. Once you've done the two sets, we're into our mobility really quickly. Good job, Sarah. I'm conscious of not going too late. We're into our mobility really quickly. So I'm just going to brush through it quickly. We've got our glutes. So again, if I'm stretching my right glute, I've got my right ankle up on my left knee. Up behind my left knee, back and forth a few times. I swap legs. If I'm doing my left glute, I've got my left ankle up on my right knee, back and forth a couple of times. If you guys have got to go, go, go for it. No stress. Apologies, I was late. Just a reminder, no session next week. We're having next week off. I'll email all the parents, but no sessions next week. And then we'll start back the week after with some new stuff, but these sessions will stay. The Thursday and the Monday session will absolutely stay. Onto our side, down our side of our leg, ITB. Again, if you want to do this back and forth five times, five, ten times, depending on how you're feeling, how your body's feeling. Other leg. Back and forth. I'm only going to go three times on each, each leg. And then I'm onto my calves. Remember the message that I've been sort of pushing the whole time, guys. I see a lot of people there tonight with brothers and sisters, which is terrific. Get out and play against each other. Get out and compete. It doesn't have to be basketball. Seriously, I, I talked to the, the VB High Performance team a little bit, Ashan and Jimmy Screen. 
and they're telling their athletes, the, the, the MPP athletes, doesn't matter like right now, we want you to have a basketball in your hands, but you don't have to. If you don't want to every day, you might want to go and play one-on-one -on -one soccer in the backyard. You might play a little bit of tennis in the back. You might play table tennis indoors. Doesn't matter, just compete. That's what we're really, that's what we're missing is that competitiveness. As long as you're moving around a bit and you're competing, I don't always mean competing by 2K or Fortnite or whatever it might be, but if that has to be how you get your competition in, then so be it. All right, okay guys, if you want to do mobility, you can go to your calf, you can go to our calf pumps on the wall. We've got our little calf pumps on the wall, so we're pushing the wall over, but we've got both, both feet back, and we're just pedaling one knee and then the other. So we're just bouncing on the ball of our foot a little bit. Again, just getting, getting some elasticity into that Achilles. Just getting that bouncing movement, getting the blood moving, getting things moving around. We've done a lot of uh, exercises tonight. That's it from me, guys. Again, next week, no session. Um, stay tuned for the format for the second lot of blues from home for the last four weeks of term. But I'm fairly certain that get up and go, 8 a.m. Monday, building better athletes, Thursday, 6 p.m., uh, will stay the same. Those sessions will stay locked in. Um, our Hoops Fit sessions will probably stay locked in, but we might add some different stuff in for you guys as we hopefully prepare to, to be looking at coming back into the stadium in term four or, or maybe over the school holidays, we'll see. But in the meantime, stay happy, um, stay healthy, uh, stay engaged with your teammates, your coaches, your friends at school. Reach out to me if you need anything um, and stay active. Get outside and enjoy the sun when it's out. Play some basketball, play some soccer, play whatever. Just compete and get a ball in your hands. See you guys. Great job. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Good to have you, Piper. <laughs> See you later. Good on you, Archie. Good lad. Bye. See you, Diesel. See you, Archie. See you later. <laughs> See you, guys. See you later, Jackson. I don't know if you can hear me, mate. Good job. <laughs>